Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. All right, everybody, we about to get this video rolling. Um, for those who are new, go ahead and subscribe. You're gonna like this channel. For those who've been here a while, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for those subscriptions. The uh, more subscriptions we get, the more, the more we can help people. All right, guys, so I told you, this video, we about to head out. We're gonna do some wonderful things today. Um, so we're gonna go pick up this rice. And once we get over here, we'll be back on. Um, so I wanna thank a few people right now. Marvin and Nuanja, Anthony, Keith, Jared, Ernest, and Wilfredo, if I miss your name, apology. All right, that's a special thanks to you guys who made this possible, got me up to 800. Um, so thank you very much. And Steve and Gerald, I ain't forgot about you two. You guys' donation is gonna go towards meds. Uh, so next time I get out and do a med run, uh, thanks to you guys, I can add a little bit more medication. All right, you guys, so I appreciate all of you. Uh, we're gonna get back to this video, Black Man in the Village. So uh, we thought we only had 50 something homes, 55 we was told, but actually we had um, 80 homes that we're gonna give some rice today. So we're gonna go get this rice. They're gonna pack up 87 bags of five pound rice. So um, I think we close to over 900 pounds of rice. I had to throw a little bit more in there myself because you know, I, I need to make sure every home where we go and get some rice. So we're gonna make that happen today. And um, when I be back, I had a beautiful wife on here, but I see you guys in a few. Just one more thing before we go, guys. So last night I was in the bathroom, you guys. I was sitting down and I started shaking and I'm like, man, why am I so nervous? My body was swaying like this. And I looked at the bathroom though. It was swaying too, you guys. We had a little small earthquake here, but they had a big one somewhere else, so we felt it here. I felt it here like 3 a.m. in the morning. All right, guys, so we're here in the city of Tacoma. We're about to, uh, that guy back there in the motorcycle, he's going to work us here, so they're going to open up early for us for us to get this rice. So we're going to pick up 87 bags of rice uh, this morning. But this little air is already popping. It's only 7.30 this morning. And look how busy it is. A lot of shops are starting to open across the street. We're gonna scan real slow so you guys can see where I'm at. That's the meat market right there in front of me. See the great car right there, right on the other side of the great car. I don't know if you guys can see right there. So, see that? See the meat market right there? You might walk over there. There's another rice store right across the street, but you guys see it's very, very busy this morning. Good morning, good morning. These are the workers right here. So we're waiting for that one to open up, then we're gonna pick up the rice. So once that open up, you guys, I'll be back. Representing the day, representing the day. Got my black man in Billy shirt on. Uh, you know, gotta wear this when we go give out that rice so they know where to come and subscribe. All right, so the owner's here. That's the owner right there, good morning. So we're gonna, we gonna get this rice packed. So we ran it the Nova today so we can have room to put all the rice in. Then we're gonna head out. So they're gonna get this rice packed in here soon. They should start coming soon. Another bag coming out. So this is a little rice shop. So if y'all don't know, so the rice is different prices. About a different grade. That's called rabbit rice right there. Uh, 52 kilos, 52 pesos a kilo. This is local rice. This rice was um, made here in the Philippines. So they're getting ready to put the rice in. He already taking a bag right there. So each of those bags got separate bags. So all together, it's gonna be about, it's gonna be 87 bags. The rice, cause we got about 80 homes, so seven extra. And I guess this the best rice right here. It's fragrant rice. It's 55. Pesos per kilogram, this one is 54. That's the best seller per kilogram. Local rice, rabbit rice. Then this here is brown rice. This is where they make the sweet stuff out of, the sticky rice and all of that with this brown rice. Did you 
see he's loaded with rice here, loaded with different kind of rices. So they're getting us packed now, getting us packed. Luck who just showed up, you guys, with a handful of bread. So she gonna take some bread and give out some bread to some people. We gonna get this car packed with some rice. There she go. You need help? She got it. She said, like, baby, help me. We get right here, right? Oh, you want right there? Another bag coming out. So I think he just bag got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I can see it. Like twelve, twelve little ones each. Twelve to fourteen bags each in each one of these. So we're getting it stacked in there, we're getting it stacked in there. Here come another right here. Alright guys, so we got our rice pack. The guys who packed the rice, we're gonna tip them. We all tip them 200 pesos a piece a day. You'll be generous today. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Alright guys, that's what we do here. If you're ever in town, what's the name of your shop? What's the name of your place? Bugasa Nicaloi. Y'all heard Johnson. Y'all come here and get rice when you come to Tacoma. Alright guys, we'll be back. Alright guys, we're about to roll out. Y'all see us sweating, loading this car, man. Every time we go, she says only a few bags. But then, besides the rice, boy, we be packing everything else. The whole house. Alright you guys. Now we're gonna hit the road. If we make any interesting stops, we'll hit back on the camera. Until then, our destination is to um, the water resort. And then from there, we're gonna go to the village of Sendeyong. Look, you guys, this is our new addition. This is one, the last puppy. Uh, which, which dog was that? Venus. All her puppies died except this one, and this one was dying too. So Rose brought him out here to us, or her, or her. And since then, we done perked her up. All right, guys, so we at the, the water park. This is our stop. This is where we usually leave the car here because the road doesn't go all the way to our village, but our village is just two villages over. So what's going to happen, you guys? Sandayong is where we're going to nail. It's one village over, and then our village is the next village. Some guys gonna come with some motor calves um, and put two or three sacks of rice on each motor calf. Three motor calves gonna come. They gonna take it to the village. And then we gonna get on a boat right here and, and go over to the next village and pass out the rice. So let me walk out here and let y'all show the, see the beauty of this water park. You can already see how pretty it is out there. Look at the beauty out here, you guys. It's the beauty of the Philippines right here. So it looks like it's one family out here. This is where you can come. You can rent these little huts right here, you guys. And some of them got the karaoke machine in it. You can get a karaoke machine in there. It only costs $20 for the day to rent one, karaoke. So you can see some smoke going on over there. They, they barbecuing. And then they renting this one out here on the water. The kids like the one out on the water because that's sliding everything. Then behind here is the beautiful coconut mountain. So we're on the back road, you guys. We came down to get to the water park. That's the water park down there. So San Dayong is the next village down right there. These bikes, can, the road don't go all the way to, to San Dayong yet, so it kind of becomes a dirt. All right, guys, so they took four bags on the motorcycle, but this is the water park right here. But me and Johnson gonna ride this road as far as it go. Then we can see how close it is to San Dayong and see how close it is to our village. Um, so that way the motorcycles don't have to come all the way back here to this area so we're gonna take this little road and get a little scenery view if there's scenery scenery there's but only coconut only coconut so we're gonna head down this road right here you guys so this is the road they building eventually where they stopping it at San Dayong, and that's the village right before our village. But once you get to San Dayong, we can at least drive our car all the way to one village before ours. But you see the water out to the left? 
<laughs> Tell Josh to get ready to start. But look, you guys see this? We, we know they don't own this land probably, but see that? They done built them a little shack right there. Look, it even got stairs going up there and everything. You see the beautiful water right here to the left? So we're gonna take this road as far as we can. Look, this is somebody's little hooch right here too on the right, you guys. Think it ain't too. <laughs> And look up on the hill right in front of us. You see a little girl in the doors. See, see that? Somebody built them a little house right there. That one look like it's made out of plywood and bamboo from where I'm at. But this thing used to be a road right here, so hopefully this road will go to our village. I'm hoping. And that way, when we go to the city, we don't have to get on the boat, you guys. We can just take this road all the way. So we're gonna go take this road as far as we can. And then we're gonna meet the motorcycles down here and they're gonna grab the other four sacks. It's so pretty. Oh, she's speaking. Woo! A lot of greens. Coconut trees. Look at all these coconut trees on the left and right, and the water's to the left. Like this is the end of the road right here, you guys. See this dirt road right here? So man, it's gonna be hard trying to turn around right here. So we're gonna wait right here uh, for the motorcycles to come back. And then Josh gonna have to guide me to turn this car around. So we're at the end of this road right here, you guys. Sandy Young is not far from here, maybe. Cute. A lot more, not well, not a lot more. So we probably about maybe a half a mile from San Daniel Village. So you can see this is this is concrete, but it's been raining, so it's muddy. But see that? This is concrete road right here. So the road stopped right here. So they got about a half a mile to go, but but it's dirt going all the way to San Daniel, so the motorcycles can go through here. So once they come get these other two sacks, four sacks, me and Josh are gonna take the car and park it back at the water park, then somebody gonna come on a motorcycle and get us. All right, guys, we about to get on this. Jocelyn on. I'm getting behind Jocelyn. We're going to get on the road. Go to San Dion. Look, I was too heavy to come up this hill, guys, so I had to get off and walk. And then I'm going to get on it when we get over here. So we heard, heard thundering, you guys. Look like it might rain on us before we get down to San Dion. So we're going to be going through the mud when it's going to be raining. All right, guys, so it's motorcycle week. I gotta get off again while we go up this hill. I'm too heavy. He ain't got no power on that motorcycle. So he just blowed at me they going by. So I gotta walk. <laughs> Cause this motorcycle won't, won't carry me up this hill. So I gotta walk all the way out here to the mud. That's they do, but they buy these little low power motorcycles and be trying to carry people around. They have no power. So honey, how you think he gonna get through the mud going up here with me on there? We'll see. So every hill we get to, you guys, we gotta walk up. Now we going down here, we can get back on the bike, see? They waiting on us. Mountains to the left, the water is that way. Y'all hit me breathing hard. Baby, come on. Huh? All right, guys, so, whoa, <laughs> we just hit a bump. So we got mostly downhill. So, uh-oh, we going through some muddy water right here. Oh, not too much. Uh-oh, we might have to get back off now because we're getting ready to go back up here. <laughs> okay, we got to get back off. <laughs> So now we gotta walk up here till we're going back down here. How you doing? Hey. See, he going over his too. Baby, you're still going your phone? My phone? Yeah. It's in my hand. Oh, my black one fell out. So we're back walking. But it's so beautiful here. Look at this. Look at, Look at all these trees to the left. Beautiful trees to the right. When we come through here, look at the beauty through there. There go Johnson back there behind me. 
So, why they got me walking and she at home? Sounds so heavy. I think I gotta wait till I get right up here and then get back on the bike. We gonna be going back down here. Let me show you. Okay. Right here, we going back down here. I can get my fat butt, a heavy butt, back on the bike. So we wasn't at the hill yet, the flat area. So I gotta go up a little bit more. Why the wife is there? Why she riding? So I think this is the flat area that I can get back on there. Somebody was behind us on a motorcycle <laughs> and they saw it fall, so they stopped us. Oh, what the look! Safe. So, look over there. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look. Oh, that's scared, you guys. We're coming down the hill. So the big man gotta get off again. Oh look, this is cement again. Right here, that's cool. So the cement road only had to come to this road. So we out in the dirt. So now we should be good. He should be able to carry me the rest of the way. Look at the beauty out there. But look, like, it's been a rain on us, so we gotta hurry up now. So we're riding, we get some scenery. I'm not gonna turn the phone off. We just cut what we don't need. It's swimming, baby. I wanted to put it I wanted to put it on. Oh, turn around, go ahead. There we go, look. Woo! Oh, man, we're back to the dirt. And it's bumpy. Oh, my goodness, turn it around. Look, I'm scared, you guys. Right on the other side of that mountain, right there. Slide now, slide now. So we good to go. Water to the left, mountains to the right. Look, there's a goat or something. Look at the goat. That's a goat. Baby, you're pushing me in. Oh, I'm sorry. That's another dog. Yeah. In now. So we almost in San Diego, we in San Diego, you guys, we go to the house. So this house is being built, you guys see? So it's going to be a nice little house. So we go down the hill, you see the water out there. We're down in the village of San Diego. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. Look how steep. Oh, my goodness, look how steep. Down there, huh? We on. Dito kami ngayon sa Sendayong. 
Alright guys, so we finished here, you see I'm sweaty. So this is Sandra and So we came here, we got some of you out here, you're welcome. Alright, so it's time me and Josh go. We're gonna hit our village and we'll be back later with you guys. You're welcome. So yeah, you too. Black man in the village. Right? So, so we going out the gas. So we had a big turnout, a lot of people. So we gave out 80, uh, 85 homes some rice today. So we did it right here in the church. It's starting to rain, so I'm had to turn this phone off. It's, that's the turnout we had today, you guys. See the mountains behind us. It's about to rain, so we're gonna hit our village, you guys, and we'll be back. All right, guys, so we're looking for the sorry show. Uh, it's raining, so you got chicken in there? You got biscuit? Uh, biscuit. <laughs> so we're gonna give all the kids some. We gave adults rice. We're gonna give the kids something, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. You want one of these? I'm sure. I'm going to go and get a bottle Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Alright everyone, so that was San Daniel. We did our thing in San Daniel. Uh, so we passed out some rice, uh, treated the kids. Uh, that's what we do here. Again, thanks to you guys who helped. Uh, so if anybody new, you feel free. It should be some links below or on the home page at the top, somewhere in the middle. Uh, it should be some links. Um, so Christmas coming up this time, you guys. So any donations I get before Christmas, I'm gonna use that for the village kids, you know, it, so they can at least get something. Like get a, a little treat bag or something with some candy, maybe a little, little tiny toys or something in it. Um, so I want to try to do that. So if I get some help with some donations for that, we're gonna make try to make some kids um, Christmas in the village uh, much better. Um, and then after that, you know, I'm gonna continue uh, try to donate rice every month. Uh, you know, it feels good to help. You know, I can't do a lot, lot, but we do what we can. That's why you guys help is much appreciated because when you give me help, it allows me to do more. Um, so with that said, uh, happy early Merry Christmas to you guys. This is the Black Man in the Village. Uh, peace out. Love you guys.